Round 10, and Widgelsee were at it again, this time against Anarchy, who had their sights set on September, and the Roos were too good, while Werribee Central's at home were too strong for Inverlee. North Geelong were led by full forward Paul Breguet with eight goals, but just got over Corio by three points in a tough encounter. Bell Post Hill are hard to beat at Myers Reserve, and Thompson found this no exception, as Matt Jovanovic kicked 11 goals to lead his side to a big win. Bannockburn hosted the winless Geelong West, and that's the way it stayed as the Tigers won by 43 points. While at Winter Reserve, we saw 49 goals kicked. East booted 32, while Belmont Lions managed 17, and East Lucas Murphy got eight. Round 11. Anarchy had a solid win over Bannockburn to keep their finals hopes alive, while Jackson McLeod led Thompson to run riot over Winchelsea and come out winners by 122 points. Inverlee got over Belmont Lions by seven goals in an interesting game as the East Geelong and Bell Post Hill Clash of the Year turned out to be a bit of a flop with the Hill winning by 41 points. Carayo were taking it right up to Werribee Central's but Craig Rosenweig booted seven for Central sealing the deal for Werribee and North Geelong did it easily over Geelong West. Round 12 was interesting for Winchelsea as they got over their country rivals in Bannockburn by 11 points in a game that could have gone either way. Werribee Centrals were never going to be troubled by Geelong West as the Centrals Luke Casia and Craig Rosenweig got amongst the goals. Thompson were in for a torrid afternoon against their neighbours East Geelong with the Eagles running out 50-point winners and Lucas Murphy stared seven while for Thompson, Jackson McLeod booted five. At home, North Geelong fell away against Anarchy with a big goal kickers coming from both sides and in Valise surprised Bell Post Hill in what was to be their only loss for the season as Belmont Lions started their run of six wins in a row over Carayo. Round 13 saw Werribee Centrals get the points against Anarchy, while in a thriller at Eastern Reserve, Winchelsea, the Blues got their win by a point against North Geelong. Bell Post Hill struggled against Carayo, but eventually got the win, but the home ground advantage at Myers Reserve was the difference. East Geelong at home against Inverlee had to fight hard in the first half, but eventually ran out easy winners, with Lucas Murphy booting six for East. Bannockburn fell against Thompson in a low-scoring game as Belmont Lions got two in a row, defeating the winless Geelong West. Round 14. Belmont Lions caused the upset of the round by downing Anarchy in a thriller by one goal, and Werribee Centrals continued on its way with a solid win over Winchelsea. Bannockburn posted one of its rare wins for the season over a disappointing North Geelong by four points. Inverley won again against Thompson, this time only by 23 points, as the City Tigers build for another finals tilt, while close neighbours East Geelong belted Carayo to the tune of 119 points. Topside, Bell Post Hill proved too strong for bottom side Geelong West by 116 points. Round 15. As the league turned for home with four rounds to go, Thompson decided to flex a muscle and put pay to any hope North Geelong had of making the finals, as Bell Post Hill caused Anarchy some real headaches with an 84-point win. West Geelong was on the end of another top side hiding as East Geelong took care of business easily, while Inverlee did the same to Carayo. Bannockburn again showed their inconsistent season by downing a top three side in Werribee Centrals, and Belmont Lions went on its merry way to notch up another major victory over Winchelsea. Round 16 saw Bell Post Hill boot more than 100 points for the third week in a row with a solid 29-point win against North Geelong. Not to be outdone, East Geelong notched up more than 100 points for the fifth time in a row, this time at the expense of Anarchy. Thompson showed it was steely in getting a finals berth with a good 24-point win over Carayo. Werribee Centrals were too strong for North and Belmont Lions did it again, this time against Bannockburn by a mere seven points. Inverlee became the fifth club in round 16 to score more than 100 points and they downed Geelong West in a one-sided game. 
Round 17. Werribee Centrals wanted the win and Thompson needed the win. And Werribee won as the Centrals' Anthony Kitchen slammed home six goals. Bellpost Hill were determined to show their strength and they did it at the expense of Bannockburn while Invalid showed their country strength by dominating Anarchy by 52 points. While East Geelong did a job on Winchelsea with East's Lucas Murphy registering 13 goals. Carayo, with a measured win against Geelong West by 52 points, showed they'll be OK in 2012. And Belmont Lions got their sixth straight win by defeating North Geelong by seven points, with Paul Breguet making a surprise appearance for North. Round 18. Anarchy showed lack of effort in the last round as Correo were not letting up even though they couldn't make the finals they won by 53 points. Invalee showed why it finished in the finals with a 146 point win over Winchelsea as Thompson defeated the winless Geelong West in a controversial score result by one point. North Geelong showed nothing in the last round as flag favourites Bellpost Hill stormed away to win by 142 points. And East Geelong did the job against Bannockburn but just went through the motions. At Galvin Park, Werribee Central stopped Belmont Lions in their tracks and their winning streak of six straight by downing the Cheetahs by 113 points.